I just got my CSL style trunk back from the paint shop and I'm so excited to just have this project finished. We're gonna skip an intro and just get right into it. So just to get everyone up to speed in case you missed the last couple videos on this, this fiberglass trunk was given to me by Keys Motorsports. We did a test fit on the car, ran into a few small issues which I worked out. Um, I did some fiberglass repair on the top side. There was like a crack along here that I fixed. And then it was off to get painted. $700 to paint this thing, which definitely caught me off guard. Uh, but from what I understand with fiberglass especially, there's a lot more prep work involved to make it right. So. Um, wasn't expecting it, but since I got the trunk for free, it kind of all works out. But uh, all that's left now is just to move over the tail lights and the other peripherals. So let's do that and we can throw it on the car. There's like a method to getting these inner taillights out of the trunk and uh, every time I do this, I seem to break something. I've replaced this one side. This is my third one that I'm on. got really hot in here, I had to take my sweater off. When I was going into this project, I knew that this wasn't gonna be everybody's favorite. It's a little controversial, but uh, I didn't realize just how polarizing this was gonna be. But that's okay at the end of the day, you know, it's your car, your build. And as long as you're the one paying for the gas and everything, the insurance, I think you should be able to do whatever you want. All right, so I just weighed both of these trunks on my scale. The original steel one, 27 pounds, and the new fiberglass one, only 13 pounds. That's more than a 50% weight reduction. It's not really that big of a deal, but um, for all the people out there like, oh, this is a pointless mod, this is so stupid. There is some small performance benefit to it, but uh, let's throw all these parts onto the new one and we'll throw it on the car. Thank you. 
All right, so right now we're just trying to get the fitment dialed in. Um, like I said in a previous video, there's basically four bolts that hold it onto the car and it's got some adjustability built into that. Each um, bolt can be moved about a quarter of an inch in any direction. So right now you can see the gap on this side is pretty crazy. And then on this side, it's almost touching. So we're gonna play around with this a little bit and see if we can get that dialed in a little bit more. Okay, so after much fooling around with the fitment on this thing, I think we got it as good as it's gonna get. My main concern was having the panel gaps on each side be equal. So you can look at that one, and then if we over here, and they're consistent with all the other panel gaps on the car. So like the doors, the hood, everything fits the same. And I think that was like the most important thing to me. So you can see like the gap on the hood there. So I did order a new 340 badge for the rear, but for the life of me, I can't find it. Of course, the day that I'm ready to film, it's nowhere to be found. It's been sitting on my kitchen counter for like the last month and it's just been shuffled around with the mail. But as soon as I find that, I'll stick that on there. But right now, let's pull this thing out. We're gonna go get some B-roll and some photos. This was a really fun project and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm a huge fan of these sort of ducktail style spoilers on any car, not just BMWs, and it's just cool to uh, finally have one of my own. Now, as far as I know, they don't make these anymore, uh, but in case you find one on eBay or something, um, just understand it's not gonna be as simple as taking it out of the box and sticking it on the car. There was quite a bit of work involved getting this thing right. Um, kind of expensive to get it painted more than I was expecting, but in my opinion, totally worth it. I think it's a super clean look. In my opinion, it's even more clean than like the carbon fiber against the white. I think having it all white back here is just super clean. Um, but if you guys enjoyed the videos, just give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.